An event organized by the Ministry of Tourism and Lands to celebrate World Tourism Day was held in Colombo today, with the participation of the country representative of the United Nations Development Fund, Azusa Kubota, and chairman of the Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority, Priyantha Fernando. Everyone sees a lot of potential for the South Asian region, and it's up to all of us to help ourselves to the deserving share and place Sri Lanka on the global map. As we all know, today tourism is playing a major role and making a major contribution towards our economy. We are the second largest foreign exchange earner for the economy right now. And hopefully, with the support of all stakeholders, we can make it the largest foreign exchange earner for the economy by 2027. Looking at the targets that we have set for 2023, we are ahead of the targets. We have achieved 1 million tourists up to now, and also the target set of 1,550,000 will be superseded. Despite the recent successive challenges faced by the industry in Sri Lanka, starting from the devastating Easter Sunday attacks, the COVID-19 pandemic, to the economic crisis, I have to say, really the resilience that this tourism industry has demonstrated is remarkable. As the world embraces green thinking at this time of economic recovery efforts, the objective of the tourism sector development cannot simply about increasing the number of inbound tourists. It has to be about enhancing the experience through green lenses by promoting a responsible, eco-conscious paradigm for the sector and building a stronger eco-brand, green brand, around the sustainable agenda for Sri Lanka. Speaking of nature assets, did you know that Sri Lanka is one of the 36 biodiversity hotspots in the world? With its unique ecosystems and endemic flora and fauna, Sri Lanka's strength lies in its biodiversity, and should we lose it, we will lose the value of it, authenticity of it, and forever. Before too late, we must invest in biodiversity management, and in turn, the return on investments will be exponential and long-lasting. Wellness tourism in Sri Lanka could further be enhanced by leveraging the country's unique biodiversity and promoting its spice gardens and herbs to create awareness of authentic Ayurvedic treatments, healthy Sri Lankan cuisine, and its associated health benefits and all the smiles you receive here in Sri Lanka. And these nature-based assets can shape and drive the rebranding of Sri Lankan tourism if they are coupled with progressive and innovative green investments. Our first involvement in this sector started back in 2018, providing technical support to initiate the National Sustainable Tourism Certification Scheme under the Biodiversity Finance Initiative, in short, Biofin and to promote tourism sector investments in biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. Sigiriya, no surprise, has been selected as the inaugural destination to be developed as a sustainable tourism destination. UNDP also provided technical support to draft the national tourism policy and conduct stakeholder consultations and validation workshops under the guidance of the tourism ministry. So it is truly our sincere hope that the policy will be fully adopted soon and implemented in the near future as a catalyst.